by reintroducing student loans. And you have done that yesterday. This has gone down very well. It has been very positively received across the broad spectrum of our society. And the direct beneficiaries, the students, made it a very cardinal issue to come here today and express their gratitude to you. Thank you. Congratulate you for the giant strides that you have been taking in the last just two weeks of your presidency. This has been very unprecedented, Mr. President. I now would allow the president of the president, your excellency, capacity, tested, trusted, dependable, and reliable president of our great country, Nigeria. Before you, uh, the members of National Association of Nigerian Students, headed by myself. My name is Usman Umar Barambu from Gombe State, studying in Federal University, Duse Jigao State. My, from my right hand side, I, Your Excellency, we are here to congratulate you and to thank you for what you have been doing to the country since you enter as president of this great country. And to equally thank you for a lot of things. We started by number one, issue of subsidy removal. It takes a great person to take that bold step by removing the subsidy. And we said, we said as students, even when some people confronted us that, no, we need to protest, we said to them, no, that the oil is dry. Baba cannot give what we don't have now. We have to accept the reality and face the challenge squarely so that together we can rescue the country. And we say no. And today we are saying yes to fuel subsidy removal. And we'll stand with it. We'll go with the removal of the subsidy. And to equally thank you for the student loan bill. Like we said to our colleagues, that we have seen a lot of goodies coming as we emerge. And thank God we have started seeing it. Now with this bill, we have the opportunity to get access to fund to further our education, to fund our education. Uh, uh, last year, I was with the immediate past speaker and chief of staff, one of our own comrade, Femi Baja. Uh, we complained to him that with this bill, now a lot of our institutions will be increasing fees because they will tell that you have access, go and get loan first to pay the fees. Now we are pleading that at least we should have a uniform benchmark. And if they want to increase, they should please carry along the student union government of that school so as to curtail the issue of protesting. Whenever there is protest in issue of school fees increment, it's because the student union government are not being carried along in the process. Once they have been carried along, we don't think there will be problem. We equally appeal that as we are removing the subsidy, or we say as we have removed the subsidy, we are pleading that buses should be given to most of the higher institutions, if not all, to help us subsidize the transport system of the universities. Then we equally call for more funding of ITF, that's the Industrial uh, Training Fund. We equally call for more percentage, if possible, for TED fund, because Your Excellency, without that TED fund, by now most of our institutions could have collapsed. They are the people doing almost virtually all the uh, buildings and everything there. But uh, we, we equally seek your, seek your permission and uh, we equally seek your permission on the issue of uh, this uh, very good palliative for our student, a very good palliative for our student that will go direct to them. Because most of the times, if it is going through uh, the school management, we used to have issues with them. Uh, as a leader in the struggle, you know that better than us. Greatest Nigerian student. Yes. Are we communicating? Yes. Thank you very much. Then equally, Your Excellency, uh, we want to appeal that this issue of pension commission, 
we saw the police going outside the contributory pension. And we are afraid that probably if it continues, the government will be putting money inside the police pension uh, board, which from what we saw is going to be around a trillion naira. So we are afraid that if we are out of four to a uh, three to four trillion subsidy, then we are going to one point something trillion to police uh, pension. I think definitely the body will still come back as time goes on. So we are appealing to you to look at that uh, issue. Then we are equally appealing that either the MD or the Secretary General, someone with well student unionism experience should be considered, if at all, former NANS official, or to be a little bit selfish, former NANS president, to be considered in that appointment, so that at least we will not have much issue if there is something coming up. He knows the terrain, he's familiar with all the challenges, it will be good that for him to solve the issue even before escalating. And on that note, we would like to thank you for appointing one of our own, like I earlier said, our father, Comrade Femi Baja, as your chief of staff. Thank you very much. Party, APC, Senator Adamo Abdullahi. The National Secretary, Senator Yola Omisho, the Chief of Staff, Honorable Femi Bajabiamla, great Nigerian student. Great. Great Nigerian student. Great. Very good. Welcome. It is a joy to have you around, and particularly today that we are even celebrating more or less a victory mm -hmm. over tyranny and uh, what Nigeria should be. The bill. We require some of what you enumerated. We look at it critically. Yeah. However, if we all believe that education is the greatest weapon against poverty, then we have to invest in it. And that poverty should not prevent anybody, any child, including the daughter or son of a wood seller or body seller or yam seller from attaining their high standard of education to eliminate poverty. If you eliminate poverty in one family, one single unit, you can carry the rest of the work with you. I assure you, the objective is not lost. Yes, the student needs uh, to be represented. But if there's anything I last remember, that you are not cohesive too. You fractionized your infections sometimes. So once one person is on the board, another faction will raise the air. So you have to promote unity and stability among each other. 
you have to employ democratic means honestly and seriously. I can always say uh, any woman who is unable to accept and celebrate a free and fair election does not deserve the joy of victory. So if you follow democratic principles and norms in your various activities and elections, you definitely we will not give the board an headache. We take a look at that, that inclusion. You know, uh, I'm glad you understand the reason on the subsidy remover. A point of drains, Nigeria tried to draw water from a dry well. <laughs> it's no longer acceptable. It's no longer acceptable. And uh, we equally must not continue to service the smugglers. They take our canteen, tanker, our pyramids across the border. We stop that. We put our money where our mouth is. To all of you, uh, you probably might not be born or maybe up to even two years old when we started the struggle for democracy. You are here. You must look forward to leading the country one day. Is through courage, perseverance, commitment, and consistency that you can achieve that goal. I am ready to listen to you any given time, any time that you have complaints, you have your comrade in Gaja. If you cannot locate me, so you can uh, more or less find him. But it's a joy to sign a bill into law. Uh, I will look at the control mechanism of the of the bill. Okay. Uh, in the bill. And the board can decide all of that. There's no point in not including you. But the bill is open-ended without tenor. Four years university education should be four years unless you are in medicine or other sciences that is longer than that. So the kind of actual strike that we had in the past must not happen again. <laughs> so we are on this journey together. And we are charting the course. 
for your tomorrow, today. Be part of it. Celebrate it. Own it. And run with it. Because it's your country. You don't have any other nation. To all of you, uh, you represent a diversity of Nigeria. That diversity is only sweet when you own the civic responsibility of non-identity politics. And I assure you, I will work with you. So, and, uh, my national chairman, the national secretary, and many of them are here bearing witness to the commitment for us to eliminate poverty. We are Thank you very much. Thank you.